Welcome to part two. Today I've been building the cabinet sides for the coin pusher and I've also been making some adjustments to the mechanism as I realised from the first video some of the measurements were slightly out and they weren't going to fit in the cabinet. Here's a diagram of one of the cabinet sides which I've made from half inch thickness MDF. I was lucky enough to find two of these at my local B&Q uh, as offcuts. I've made it 1200 millimetres high because it's for a seven year old to play on so I want it to be low enough for them to reach the coin slots. You can see there's a window that I've cut into the sides that will allow you to view the coins from the side angle of the cabinet too. You will also notice there's a rail on the inside that I've set at 580 mil from the base of the cabinet. This is 700 mil long and this is the rail that the mechanism board, the place where the coins will fall onto, will sit. Um, I've got one of these on each side of the cabinet to support it. Okay, here's the cabinet, uh, which I've now tacked lightly into position with the two sides on. Uh, you can see the mechanism inside. Uh, those of the with astute eyes will notice I've trimmed the back of the rails off a bit now to make the mechanism shorter which I will discuss in a moment. Okay, here's the mechanism with the changes I've made. Um, I've also added some extra measurements so you can see the depth of the pushing platform. Uh, the actual motion of travel is actually 60 millimetres, not 80. Um, I've shortened the entire uh, pushing platform, drop platform and the whole mechanism down to 720 mil. Uh, it was just getting too long in the, the setup at 800 mil, um, and the machine was just being too deep. Um, but as you can see, uh, the changes have been made. You've seen it in the video too. So um, on to the next stage.